you feel that something was wrong or something went wrong during your labor and delivery and now you have been told that your child has a diagnosis which is going to impact them for the rest of their life and now you're wondering what do you do where do you go want to know what i'm getting at here stay with me as i share with you this very important information Hello, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm a childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorney practicing law in the state of Maryland. And I would like to talk with you today from a standpoint of mothers who have contacted me and who I have represented, and some fathers too, with this dealing with this situation. It is essentially one in which mom or dad during the process they really had some concerns about everything they didn't think that everything was going well and the doctors reassured them that yeah everything was fine and, it, and, and that there would that there were no problems but now they have learned that their child is not meeting certain neonatal milestones and maybe there is a subsequent cerebral palsy diagnosis or a brachial plexus palsy issue that is in there maybe shoulder dystocia or something was present but the purpose of this video is to give you that perspective from these individuals because if you're watching this video right now more than likely you are dealing with something like this you're unsure as to what do you do next or where do you go if you have some questions about the diagnosis first and foremost this is something that you can do you can get a second opinion Yep, that's it. And I know it sounds simple, but you will be surprised a lot of people forget about this. You can get a second opinion as to your child's diagnosis. A second opinion can help in a boatload of ways. Number one being that it can either confirm the diagnosis or of the previous doctor, or it may get you going in another direction in regards to the treatment and the care that your child may need. So that's the first thing that you want to do. If you've got some confusion about what's going on or what type of treatment or help that your child is going to need into the future, you can get a second opinion. The second thing that you can do is you can get the medical records. Yes, that's it. Get the medical records from the birth. And a lot of times what can happen is hospitals will give you, when you request the records, they'll, they'll give you maybe mom's records or they'll give you baby's records. But you need both sets. You need mom's records and you need baby's records. And these medical records are really important because what they do is they will, they allow someone to review the events that, uh, that occurred during the delivery. They can let you know whether or not there were, there were things such as meconium present uh, at, at during, during birth and a whole host of things in which the medical records can help you with. So why have I taken the time today to talk with you about this really important information? Because if you are watching this video right now, you, you probably have questions. You don't know where to go or what you can do further in regards to what's going on with your child. If you have more questions about this process, maybe you would like to speak with an attorney also about certain options that you may have or that your child may have in the future with things. This is what I invite you to do. And remember, taking this next action costs you absolutely nothing. And what is that action? To pick up the phone and give me a call. I can be reached at 301-850-4832. Or if you prefer, you can send me an email to medicalinjury at bostonlawllc.com. I answer Maryland childbirth injury and medical malpractice questions just like yours all the time. And I'll be happy to take some time and listen to your story. All right, that's gonna be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys here at Boston Law Group LLC, and we will see you next time. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.